Before we get into this weekly tarot reading for you, I just want to say that I love you so much and I really want to let you know how extremely appreciative I am of you choosing to watch this video, even if it's just for a few minutes. I love you so much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Sagittarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards today that resonate with you in this tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below Sagittarius which cards do and how they do because that is how I keep up with y'all is through the comments as well. Sagittarius, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today or you just enjoy my vibe, I'd really appreciate it Sagi if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to do that for me. As well, be sure to remember to rely on your intuition, Sagittarius, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. But you know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, I promise you. I believe my tarot readings are just here to give you some food for thought today, a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout this week, but never making any choices in your life, because I believe it's your life to live Sagittarius, not mine and not these tarot cards. So, with all that being said, Sagittarius, let's finally just get into your weekly tarot horoscope reading. I want to see where it is right now you guys are currently at, Sagittarius. I want to see where you guys are currently feeling. What's your path, what's your journey looking like so far? <clears throat> Yeah, two cards step out for you so okay definitely in this name of transitions definitely experiencing uh moving on from something the closure of a cycle but welcoming in something new oops as i hit my tripod i'm sorry saji but i do feel like this is a good sign for you guys i don't feel as if this is i mean you could say bittersweet energy a little interruption as well i am doing actually a giveaway for you guys since for hitting ten thousand. so if you would like to enter the giveaway i'm just going to be doing a chance to give someone a chance to have a live reading done with me or a reading done by me uh on their own personal reading whether it's live or recorded so all the information will be down below it's a quick simple process of joining my new discord and it'll be pretty self-explanatory but yeah let's get back into your reading darling uh sagittarius right because with some closures with some uh endings to things it's always just kind of like that uh nostalgia that'll hit you and be like oh wow but i feel like this is more so like a self-reflection sagittarius of you guys self-reflecting and being like oh wow look how far i've been or look how far i've gone look at what it is i'm accomplishing right so with this renewal card we have number two for numerology so write that down to look up later sagittarius uh leo actually got that as well number two so maybe you have some leo in your chart if you do i would suggest checking that out uh their video as well but Archangel Jeromeo, same thing. If your practices, uh, spiritual practices are open to connecting to Archangels, Archangel Jeromeo is reaching and extending a hand out where you can potentially connect with them this week. Uh, this card says review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts, time to move into a new direction. Paired with the Nine of Water or the Nine of Cups in normal tarot because cups is water element. Uh, this card says your wish is coming true, concerns fading away, and a love life. So this is why I was saying, it's like both cards talking about closures to things, something that has been hanging over your head for quite some time, Sagittarius. It, like, I don't know, it feels like you guys are moving into a new direction, but it's again, just like this bittersweet, uh, uh, this bittersweetness, because I feel like this is something that you've been working so hard on or working towards this entire time. Perhaps this is something you've been prepping yourself for already for some time now, Sagittarius, is something that I'm feeling as well. So uh, let's start getting into this reading, darling. Let's start pulling, start pulling some clarifiers. Chariot card coming in here. Now, Sagittarius, I want to say this is your card. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's Leo's. I don't know, darling, but I kind of feel like this is the energy that you're exuding this week, Sagittarius. Um, I always say the chariot card is like you riding like your Uber service from the divine, right? Uber ser uh, It's an Uber service from the divine where when you're starting to really be in alignment of your path, a little quick tulip cameo, uh, when you're really in alignment with your path, with your purpose, with where it is you need to go, right? You start going down that direction even quicker than normal. My tulip is now apparently, oh, she's coming to help. She heard me say her name and now she wants to help with this reading in a moment. But yeah, I feel like you guys are experiencing a lot more forward movement in your life, but this should also bring in the sense of affirmation 
as well, Sagittarius, just because um, the chariot is there for you. Because think about it, spirit wouldn't uh, bring forward the chariot to help you guys out and have you guys experience more uh, things in your path if you guys were not going down the right path, right? They wouldn't take send an Uber to help you out further if uh, you were going down the wrong path, right? So let's see what card we have going on now, Tulip. We have the Eight of Swords for you guys in the reverse. Yes, we love this for you guys, actually, because this is showing to me you guys were probably feeling stuck, Sagittarius. You weren't probably sure where it is you were going with your life or how to continue to have forward movement in your life in some way. Is something that I'm feeling. I don't know what's why she's so chill right now. Um, I guess she just wants attention. But yeah, you guys are definitely feeling stuck at some point. And now I feel like uh, you guys are probably, I would say, pushing your own comfort zone a little bit. Just because normally with the Eight of Swords in the upright, this is a card of where you, it's like the illusions. You staying blind to where it is that you could improve on uh, Sagittarius to get you out of your situation. And I feel like you guys are just now taking active steps and being like, you know what? I need to put a closure to this situation. I need to, you know, you're tying up loose ends that you haven't been uh, tying up for a while now for, you know, whatever your reasonings be. So we have the Fool card now, Miss Tulip. Yes, come on, Fool card. This is where it is. I really do feel like strongly Sagittarius. You guys are really... Uh, wrapping up to move this is giving me very much so you guys are moving energy uh moving relationships even maybe you guys are uh, newly single uh moving on from connections but the full card i will point out is the beginning of a new journey that's why this, it's associated with the number zero you're starting into something new and so in this dynamic you know maybe you're stepping into this new journey that perhaps with the eight of swords before you had reservations about because you weren't feeling or you weren't sure that you were ready for it perhaps right you have the ace of wands as well i need to keep tulip around for y'all's readings more often because she's bringing forth all the positive cards for y'all ace of wands this is again uh, going down a new path you can you know it's very much so like a card of being like target acquired with something and now you guys naturally with this full energy you're delving into it further right you guys are releasing the inhibitions that have been keeping you down from doing this right you guys are letting go of the dead weight or what have you that has been slowing you down and you're just going full speed ahead towards it whatever you guys uh sagittarius have kept your eye on or really you guys definitely something has piqued your interest if it's recent but i feel like this is something that's been in the build up for a long time uh for you sagittarius so let's see how this looks further we have the seven of wands coming in here for you guys uh now this is in the reverse so are you guys doing something that was that is not going to really bring too much pleasure to others uh the temperance card in the reverse hey do not bite me darling do not bite me <laughs> uh the temperance card in the reverse we have the King of Swords in the reverse. So this is what your issue was. You guys didn't want to rock the boat. The Queen of Cups in the reverse. You guys didn't. <laughs> I talk about how I need to keep Tulip around and all the next cards I pull are all inverted. So you guys haven't wanted to take action necessarily, go into this new energy because um, I almost want to say like you were scared of somebody's reaction. You were scared of someone's reaction or you didn't want to hurt feelings and that was what's been clouding your head uh, space for a while now, Sagittarius. And so it does feel like with this new direction almost, you're going to bring some displeasure to people, but I feel like it's kind of inevitable because you guys are just doing with what feels right to you, right? So it's even definitely one of those things, Sagittarius, where it's like you're telling people in your life, you're being like, hey, like, I have to do this, right? Every, you may think I'm crazy, but it's just there's something that you feel like you have to do for your life. And it may look like you're being reckless. It may look like you're being the fool, right, as we pulled for you. But I feel like this is something that you just feel called to do and you call to do like now right um, for other people maybe you would hear a situation where it's just like oh why don't you just wait a little bit longer right for you Sagittarius I don't feel like you want to wait any longer I feel like you want to do something now you're done being stuck you're done feeling trapped in a situation you're just ready to go forward with something Tulip is just really wanting attention 
don't bite me. Do not bite me. I don't know why she's trying to act up now. Six of cups in the reverse for you guys. All right, all right, sugars. All right, here we go. Goodbye. <laughs> Need to not give her too much camera time, darling, or else she'll start asking for her cut. <laughs> so, six of cups in the reverse. You guys are definitely leaving in this, like, childhood, like, I don't want to say childhood, right? A situation that maybe you've had in your life for a long time now. Childhood friend, childhood family member, or whatever. Childhood family member. You get the point, Pudgy. Uh, five of pentacles in the reverse coming in here. It's a situation where you just haven't felt like you belonged for a while. Um, I don't know what you're doing. She's up to something, darling. Um, it's very much so a situation that you have known for a while that you just haven't meshed well with any longer. Uh, Ten of Swords in the reverse as well. Yeah, here's the thing, uh, Sagittarius. There's like this weird sense of like pain, but I don't feel like it's pain that's like stems from anything other than just like two energies or energies no longer um, coinciding with one another anymore. It feels like one of those things where it's just like you don't feel like you belong or you don't see how something fits your life anymore. And so now it's kind of one of those things where it's just like you want to just go into this new direction. Uh, no hard feelings, but I do essentially do feel like, because again, I feel like that's why you're stressing so much about the feelings of others and the reactions of others, not necessarily because you're worried about them thinking that you're a fool, which they may or may not, right? Or being a rationalist, whatever. You just don't want them to like internalize this and feel like they're doing something wrong, right? It just is one of those things where you don't, you feel like you need to do break out. The Empress card in the reverse, because you don't, you, you just don't see the situation being fruitful for you anymore. This is not helping you grow any further. Maybe you guys are just growing in different ways. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is all just about the self thing. It feels like you're stepping into a new direction into your life, Sagittarius, entirely. And so when you step into this new direction with your life entirely, it's only natural the things that you kept in your life at one point need to be let go of, right? Where you're just like, hey, I can't, you know, you can't continue pretending like this is gonna work out anymore, right? Because I do see this sense of where it's like are you trying to make this work further uh Sagittarius that you guys are you guys end up um I don't know it's just like it's one of those like weights those looming things like I don't feel like you feel good the longer this goes on you know this other, the other party may not know what's going on um for you the more that you deal with this or manage with this by yourself without saying your peace or doing something um it just weighs on you more and more and you just feel more drained each day because of it <sighs> yeah the lover's card you guys are really uh speaks heavily in parting ways with the situation and obviously we've been speaking in terms of social dynamic this entire times uh sagittarius but it could just be parting ways with like a business that you've been working that you've been with since like the startup right you could be leaving like you know maybe you started your job somewhere in some like startup of some small business and now you feel called to sagittarius to go out on your own to do your own small business right um but it's not an easy decision it's one of those things where it's like yeah like you don't that's why you wouldn't want to hurt their feelings so where it's like you just feel called to do something that feels right to you where you feel like you want to be living in your true purpose and doing yourself justice if you weren't to if you were to just stay where you're currently at it does feel like uh sagittarius you guys are more so stressing out on making sure that things don't remain stale in your life right you don't want to stay stale and that's just natural with the Sagittariuses, right? Sagittariuses are always known for needing to just move and have, uh, always have like a revolving door, <laughs> not a voice crack, darling, a revolving door of uh, new energies and other energies going in and out. There's always needs to be, there always needs to be some type of movement for a Sagittarius, so it's only natural. So now Sagittarius, let's see what's going on for your uh, romantic life, your romantic and social life, because we can have more than just romance in our life, darling. We have more than romantic relationships. We have platonic ones as well. We have work ones and all that. The unity card stepping forward for you guys, Archangel Sandalphon, number five, same spiel as before, darling. 
uh, this card says traditional viewpoints or methods, uh, spiritual organization and seeking out mentors and like-minded friends, Sagittarius. So definitely we're in terms of this path, I feel like you guys are just starting to, don't mind me, I'm stretching, starting to link up with new energies. I really do get this sense here, Sagittarius, you're just craving new energies, craving to be around people who you are able to relate to more, right? Because we can't neglect from your general portion of your reading about how uh, for y'all, um, you had that five of pentacles where it's just like you just didn't feel like you belonged in the situation. So um, yeah, let's get a little bit more detail about this, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on. We have the temperance card coming in here. This is something that you've been really uh, weighing out for a while, something you've been waiting on. Uh, we have the Three of Pentacles coming in here, collaborative energies again. And then we have the Queen of Wands coming in here. So yeah, there's something that you've been biding your time on for a lot. Uh, Sagittarius when it comes to working with other people and maybe you've just been hoping in some way that y'all's energies y'all would be able to like work together at some point y'all's passions were just align y'all's past would cross or more organically and so you could build up something even bigger with some people and I do get this sense here Sagittarius that you guys are starting like this is a situation where you just have been patient at this time and I do feel like you know going back to your general portion you guys are kind of giving up on the situation to instead uh, find people who are already instead of waiting for them to develop and to what is <laughs> tulip is just being weird right now <laughs> she's just acting so crazy just like looking around like she has nowhere to go um it does feel like yeah sagittarius that you guys instead of trying to convince people to grow in a situation death card coming in here yeah you're putting a death to things that just no longer just for you in that way right because then we have the justice card coming in here the libra card uh that seems to be what has been out of out of balance in your life sagittarius is uh the sense of things just you know you've been playing the waiting game with something for a long time and you know these people just are no longer a mesh for your energies anymore so you're just searching for people who are like just more like-minded for you where you don't have to uh, convince them to you just walk into you know it's just like if you're an artist Sagittarius you don't want to make the people in your life artists you just want to be around other fellow artists that can relate to you right so now with that Sagittarius let's see what's going on for y'all's financial and wealth situation this week what is going on for my Sagittarius's career this week we have the Four of Earth, Four of Pentacles coming in here. This card says being too frivolous or too cautious with money, good business decisions, and giving to those less fortunate. You guys, essentially, Sagittarius, are figuring out where it is to invest your Four of Pentacles in, into, where it is to invest your energy into with a situation, with a work situation. Definitely a good week of investments if you uh, do dabble in, in investing at all, Sagittarius. But um, before I speak too boldly, Darling, let's get some clarifiers for this, right? But overall, this is seemingly like a pretty positive week in uh, for you, Sagittarius, in terms of your finances. But uh, let's see. We have the Eight of Swords coming in in the reverse again. Yeah, Sagittarius, you had this before. You're just seeing things clearly. You're seeing things very clearly on like where the next step for your uh, career should be going or where it is you're going to be uh, where it is you should be investing your energy into for more financial gain uh, four of wands coming in here I really do feel strongly Sagittarius there's such a message of just like like moving and moving jobs moving places moving environments moving people darling hello um, moving your stock even I do like it just feels like you guys have identified where it is you need to go all in at. Uh, Six of Swords in the reverse coming in here. Now this is an interesting energy. This is an interesting energy. Let's go deeper. Ten of Cups in the reverse. And the Knight of Wands. And the Five of Cups. Somehow, Sagittarius, um, with the Six of Swords here... This is a weird message, but it's almost like 
um, someone in your personal life somehow was like really like a financial drain for you. Um, or something was just like an energetic drain that like took away all your energy that you could have put into investing into like another job, like something, right? I feel like there was some type of something that was just like draining you financially. And it does feel like where it's just like cutting your losses with something that is just like a weird message it, it, it does feel like you guys are cutting your losses um on some level so you may take like a slight hit with something but you're okay with taking those losses because again with this four of pentacles coming in here you just figure out where it is you need to sink your energy into and you don't care about like what percentage ends up being lost during the transition because you know once you finish that transition it's going to be really beautiful really uh, uh profitable for you Sagittarius so yeah that is the weekly tarot reading that I have for you this week Sagittarius I hope you found some cards that resonate with you in this reading if you did be sure to let me know in the comments below give this video a like and subscribe also remember I'm remember I'm doing a giveaway uh Sagittarius I'll leave all the information to that down below uh, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me my website is simplyvelka.com all my social medias are simply velka darling tiktok twitter instagram everything darling so uh, hopefully i can connect with you guys soon in the near future i love you so much sagittarius bye